Within this lesson, we'll work with multiplying decimals by multi-digit whole numbers. For this first problem, we'll look at 3.7 multiplied by 42. An estimate for this product would be 4 times 40, which is approximately 160. That's our estimate. Now for our exact answer, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at 3.7, that 3 and 7 tenths, and we'll think about how many tenths it's worth. 3.7, or 3 and 7 tenths, is worth 37 tenths. So really we have 37 tenths times 42. Breaking this down, we get 30 plus 7 tenths, and then the 42 can be broken down into 2 plus 40. And we're looking at that area model for that product. 30 times 2 is 60, 2 times 7 is 14. 30 times 40, that's 3 tenths times 4 tenths, we'll get 1,200, and 40 times 7 is 280. 60 plus 14 is 74, and 1,200 plus 280 is 1,480. Looking at this with the standard algorithm, we have 37, and remember it's tenths, times 42. 2 times 7 is 14. 4 regroup a 1. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. I will place a 0. 4 times 7 is 28. 8 regroup a 2. And 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14. 1,480. As you can see, those are the partial products that match my area model that are within my standard algorithm here. Carefully adding those together, I have 4, 5, regroup the 1, 5, and a 1. 1,554 tenths, which equals 155 and 4 tenths. So 3.7 times 42 is 155 and 4 tenths which is close to my estimate. Your turn to try. We'll start with that estimate of 4.9, which is close to 5, times 27, which is close to 30, and 5 times 30 is 150. So this here's our estimate for that product. Set up an area model and use the standard algorithm to approach this problem here. Pause the video. Is this what you got for your s model? Did you get 40 plus 9 tenths and then 7 plus 20? Is that how you set that up? And then as we continue working through that, this is what we should have gotten for those products. 280 there, 63. And 280 plus 63 is 343. 20 times 40, which is 800. And then 20 times 9, which is 180. 800 plus 180 is 980. And then I'll set up the standard algorithm where it was 4 and 9 tenths. 49 tenths, that is. Times 27. 7 times 9 is 63, 3 regroup is 6, 7 times 4 is 28, plus 6 is 34, place a 0, 2 times 9 is 18, 8 regroup the 1, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and as you can see, those partial products do match up. Adding those together, I get 1,323 
and that was tenths. Which means it's 132.3 within standard form. Which is reasonable considering the estimate there. This estimate would have been higher as I did move each of those factors up to a larger number. Here's another way to look at this. When we're trying to solve 4.8 times 37, if we multiplied this by 10, 4.8 times 10 means we just move the decimal point. So we get 48 here times 37. And then so this product here that we figure out will be 10 times more than what the actual answer should be because we have multiplied it by 10 there. So if we figure out that first, get 6, 5, 7 times 4 being 28, plus 5 being 33, that's 336, place a 0, 4, regroup 2, 3 times 4 being 12, plus 2 is 14, that's 1440, 6, 7, 7, 1776, but this number here is 10 times more than what our actual answer would be. So what we do is we take this number here and we divide it by 10. Dividing it by 10, we would get 177.6. So all we did is we multiplied by 10 first, and then we divided by 10 so that we'd have that same answer that we should have in the first place of 177.6, which would be the answer for 4.8 times 37. This is very similar to the approach that we were just taking, where it is that we are taking that 4 and 8 tenths and rewriting it as 48 tenths. All right, your turn to try. We have 3 and 6 tenths here, so we'll multiply that by 10. So then we're figuring out the product of what? Pause that video, write it out, work it out. Did you write 36 times 28? 8 times 6 is 48. 8, regroup the 4. 8 times 3 is 24. Plus 4 is 28. Place a 0. 2 times 6 is 12. 2, regroup a 1. And 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. Adding those together, I get 1,008. But then I must divide by 10 to get my actual answer which would be 100.8. So that 3.6 times 28 is 108 tenths. Still works similarly if we have a slightly larger number, 46 and 8 tenths. Think about how many tenths that would be. That would be 468 tenths times 24. So 8 times 4 is 32, 2 regroup a 3, 4 times 6 is 24, plus 3 is 27, 7 regroup a 2, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18. Cross out my regroups, place a 0, place a 6, then I can place a 3, and then I can place a 9. Adding those together, I get 11,232 tenths. So that my answer in standard form should be 100, I'm sorry, 1,123.2. With an area model, that would be 400 plus 60 plus 8 tenths. And then we have 4 plus 20 for the 24. Four hundred times four is one thousand six hundred. 
4 times 60, 240, and 4 times 8 is 32. That's 1872. Adding those across, which does match my partial product there. And 20 times 400, that would be 8,000. 20 times 60, 1,200. And then 20 times 8, 160. Adding those together, 9,200 and then 9,360, which does match up my partial product in my standard algorithm. If I added those together there, just to make sure I'm doing my math correctly, 3, 1, 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 1 more is 12, 2 regroup of 1, that's 11. 11,232 tenths again just like my standard algorithm, and then I can convert it into standard form. That would be my answer up here. I could take this as 50 times 20 as well with my estimate. Place two zeros, 1,000, just to make sure that I'm placing my decimal point correctly and that my answer is reasonable.